Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Alec, welcome to Bricksource Genius, and today we're doing something you've never seen me do before. Well, you've seen me review a magazine, but you haven't seen me review this sort of magazine. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the official LEGO magazines. Specifically, this is the Star Wars one, and this is issue 60. If you're wondering why you're just seeing the picture of the magazine and not my table, uh, I deleted the footage of the intro, and then I filmed the rest of the video, so now the magazine... Yeah, it doesn't look like it's brand new and stuff. I've accidentally ripped stuff off the cover when I was um, taking off the A-Wing packaging because it's sellotape. Um, so yeah, I, this is really annoying. So technically, I'm filming this when I came to edit this. So I'm literally filming this maybe half an hour, an hour before this comes out when I filmed it earlier today. So yeah, bum and my thing. Again, I made another mistake. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. So let's take a closer look at the front cover. Right up top here, we have the Lego Star Wars logo. Obviously, it's a Lego Star Wars magazine. You gotta have the logo somewhere. Um, and underneath that, we have a massive Darth Vader, his head. Very awesome. Uh, it's got a caption underneath it, Vader's Mission. Could be a comic. Very interesting. We'll take a look at that in a bit. Another character, we've got Yoda on the top left corner. And then we have Amazing Set. A-Wing, so that's obviously right here in the foil pack, very nice. These foil pack sets are very, very cool. This specific one has 44 pieces, and the limited edition, because it is exclusive to this specific uh, magazine. Underneath, when you fold up the uh, foil pack, you got Pod Racing, so an epic game, so it seems to be some sort of fun game in uh, the magazine. Very interesting, we'll take a look at that later as well. And then we've got the posters. Boba Fett and the UCS ISD. Now they're going to be interesting to take a look at. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. So stay tuned for that. Also, finally, we've got the Millennium Falcon down here. Very awesome. The one from Force Friday, the new one. Uh, so yeah, very jam-packed cover. Looking very good. But the coolest thing in this magazine is obviously the mini build. So let's take a look at that. Here is a little A-Wing build in its very shiny packaging. It's very silvery. As you can see it's reflecting all over the place. Very, very nice. And I... This like the way these are attached to the magazine, there is tape up top, and uh, you normally rip part of the magazine off, I did that on the back cover, which is really annoying because there are some quite interesting things on the back, um, which is really annoying. Also on the front cover, it leaves a really sticky um, thing, so the back front cover is like really, really sticky, and I mean really sticky, it is very, very annoying. I wish they found another way like stapled it. Or something, actually no, stapling would be worse. Um, but yeah, they need to find a different way to package these. Uh, but it's very, very awesome. On the front, we have 44 pieces, the bricks, it's all about the shine. I've uh, got the build here, and sort of nice printing sort of thing, with some TIE fighters down there, a planet. The limited edition, the 6 Plus, uh, the 2019, well not 2019, the new sort of box art with all the white greebling, and the Darth Vader up there. And then we've got A-Wing, and then Disney uh, there, and then the uh, very shiny outline. On the back, you got all the safety stuff, you know, like, you've got the one-to-one -one element, and a very metallic red, very awesome. Uh, you've got Darth Vader again, and then you've got the zero to three, pretty boring stuff on the back. Um, so yeah, let's get this thing cracked open. guys have watched the speed build let's take a look at this little mini build in more detail it's not bad it looks a bit stubby in places like I don't know when you're looking at it from this angle the angle with like flat it doesn't look very good when you look at it from an upwards angle it doesn't look ha as bad but it, it's it's yeah it's not the greatest model uh, I like the way they did the engines where they did the minifig pieces and they just slot them on I did like that that was very nice uh, the big piece, um, 
day, you just want this bead build. But I did think that was very, very good part usage um, to make like a small mini build. But it just looks like it looks a bit stubby. Like a lot of these models in these magazines aren't the best. Um, but this one is up there. But it still doesn't look too too bad, too uh, nice. Sorry. Um, I actually, it does look very smooth here where it goes from the windshield into this back piece. That is very nice. I mean, if you compare this to the UCSA wing, if you haven't seen that video review um, card, like right in the corner right now, um, you'll know that this is way better, but it's 44 pieces, like they've done the best they can. Um, but yeah, it's probably just going to be a parts thing for me, I'm probably going to break it down, uh, either put it on my Bricklink store, which is going to be setting up soon, um, or just use it for marks and stuff. But yeah, it's a simple mini build. Now let's get onto the magazine. So now we've taken a look at the A-Wing build this thing. Uh, now I can take a look at the actual magazine. As I, as I explained in the intro, we've already got the cover, we've already looked at that. But let's turn to the first page. Very nice, there's some nice art with the A-Wings, the Juniors ones, the 4 plus uh, sets with the A-Wing attack sort of set. Uh, we've got a main contents page, so kind of awesome, Just some teasers, that Vader comic looks very awesome. Uh, something about the Millennium Falcon, it'd be cool to see that. Uh, next page is the start of the Vader comic, Vader's Survival, looking very nice. Very, uh, some funny jokes, look at that. Unmasking of a royal guard, it's kind of cool. Um, Vader's got his TIE fighter, he's on a planet, uh, interesting. Ooh, big slug, really big slug. <laughs> Wouldn't be Star Wars without some big old creature. <laughs> Um, but yeah, look, jump, 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 master, kind of funny. Um, yeah, he's got his lightsaber, finally got his lightsaber. Um, oh, it's been bonked. Oh no, his lightsaber's lost all of its uh, kyber crystal. Oh no, Vader hasn't got a lightsaber anymore. <laughs> and then it's also got a puzzle about Darth Vader. A lot of Vader stuff so far. Vader's castle, so you got to piece the pictures together. Like, go from, like, that's probably A, um, B... C, D, they're the, even though they're the same, or whatever. Um, but yeah, continuation of the comic, we have more of the fight between the big slug. Uh, very ugly, got six eyes, it's a bit much. <laughs> kind of funny though. Um, <laughs> oh, classic line, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> even in the uh, comics, Lego comics, there's about that. It's kind of awesome. Comic's pretty awesome. It's very, very bright. The art's always very nice on these. Um, still, more of this big slug. It's a big attack and looks like he's destroyed Vader's TIE fighter. Um, <laughs> so we won't be going anywhere soon. And um, then it's got, oh, it's got Palpatine. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny with that. You can see that. So the big slug that they defeated is getting eaten by a bigger fish. Like in um, Phantom Menace, where that like scene where they're going through the Gungan sub and like each fish gets even bigger and then on this page we start to see part of the Imperial UC well, UCS Star Destroyer looking very nice and on the other side we have Boba Fett let's turn this around so you guys can have a look at it Boba Fett, very awesome portrait of him in space that is definitely going up on the wall do love that poster but then I really like the Star Destroyer one and I really rip this out at the end so, yeah, stay tuned for a little bit until you get to see that. But that poster looks absolutely awesome. Anyways, we have our first sort of, sort of main big large puzzle. If you count the Vader's Castle on a puzzle, I don't really know. But this is some sort of decoder. It's kind of fun. She's got some different logos and all the Star Wars symbols. The alphabet there. Very interesting with Luke and Leia. Trying to decode the message from the Empire or something. Oh, uh, we have the pod racing game. Very nice. Uh, some... Uh, Tuscan Raiders and Anakin's Pod Racer, 20th anniversary one, looking very, excuse me again, <laughs> very, very nice. Uh, how do you actually do it? It's the biggest pod race in the galaxy, show Anakin the way to finish by following the colour sequence. Oh, right, so you've got to do the colour sequence, so it goes yellow, orange, red, brown, black, so you've got to do that. you got to start with, like, there. Oh, that's kind of cool, you got to try that, that's pretty interesting. Simple cool puzzle. And then there's another puzzle with stormtroopers. Some sort of uh, they target practice, which wow, target practice with stormtroopers. And it's maths. 
Oh, they're fucking master this thing. Damn, Lego. <laughs> it's just simple addition, but yeah. Um, but yeah, Stormtrooper, Stormtrooper target practice, that never goes well, because they clearly can't shoot anything. They're bad at aiming. Uh, then we've got sort of a uh, new set. Well, not new. It's been out since October. But this is a showcase of the Millennium Falcon. Um, the set from, the, well, the largest set from Force Friday 2019. Got the minifigs down here. Lando, Chewie, C-3PO, Finn, Bulio, R2 and Dio. And it's got the piece count. This very nice box art shot of it. And you've got to find some sections uh, so they even pack a puzzle into it. Very, very nice. Then we have an A-Wing puzzle to do with our little mini build here. you got a start and finish. So a maze. Used to love doing these as a child. Love them. Um, very, very fun. Very awesome. And then we have the instructions that I follow to make the A-Wing model. Uh, you saw on the speed bud I used it. Um, and then we have another comic. We've got a Star Destroyer looking very nice, a brick but one. Wish we could get a new uh, new playscale one. And it looks like it's a UCS Falcon, actually. It kind of, yeah. It looks like a UCS Falcon they're using in this. That's kind of cool. But the Falcon is getting uh, trapped into a Star Destroyer tractor beam. Oh, look! And there's an A-Wing! Very nice. It looks to be the 2017 one, so the really expensive one that everyone complained about. So, <laughs> yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of odd why they didn't use the Resistance one, but... Hey, yeah, well, actually, no. I see why they didn't use the Resistance one, because it's Resistance, this is Rebels. That, yeah, that just hit me in the face. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's got the A-Wing saving the Falcon and Chewie and everything. Kind of a short comment compared to the Vader one, but still very awesome. See, so, look, here we go with the first version. The RZ1 and the RZ2, so yeah, I got that totally wrong. I am a dum dum. So that's the 2017 one, that's the green one I mentioned, the 2019 one. Ooh, this is quite a cool poster, but then it's ruined by advertisement, and then it's got things down here. There's kind of cool poster with Kylo, a Knight of Ren, a Faz, nope, Stormtrooper, and a Sith Trooper with Kylo Ren's uh, uh, shuttle, shuttle, yeah. <laughs> and that, very nice. Then we have the coming soon. So that will be next month's one. So it comes in 8080, which looks a bit janky. If I do this on myself, that I probably won't be picking up that. I might do, but maybe. It'll be a maybe for that, definitely. And then all the answers to the puzzles and everything. And then we have some door hangers. So we've got a Knight of Ren. We've got BB-8 and Dio. And on the back, you can see where I sort of ripped um, the page. I ripped it here. <laughs> And then you've got oh, the stickiness on the front is sticking to the table. You've got Kylo and Ray, so that's very cool. I'm probably going to get the Do one because I really like that. Yeah, <laughs> I actually really do like, like those ones. They're very awesome. Um, so yeah, that concludes our look at uh, issue 60 of the Lego Star Wars official magazine. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. There is going to be another one of these magazine videos coming out very soon. Uh, we do have. Just give you a sneak peek. We have that coming. If you saw what that is, you might know. But that review will be coming out in the next few days. Also, another magazine review. It's going to be three magazine reviews within a week. So, you might get fed up with them. Uh, we're going to have Box Magazine, issue 69 or 70. One of those. Um, yeah, that'll be coming out very, very soon. I want to get that out because you guys sometimes enjoy them. Um, and they're always fun for me to make. I always enjoy doing them. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is going to become a regular thin thing. Hopefully every month I might not have the Star Wars one. I might have the Hidden Side one, the City one, or the Ninjago one. It depends. I might have all four. I might have just two. You never know. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Peace.